So what is she up to? Investigating. For what? John Shepard. How? What do you mean how? How does she invest? How does the hospital have to do with that? Hello, I'm looking for Anne Shepard's room. Please send the visitor's book. Scott Shelby. Are you a member of the family? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she'll be pleased to have you. Yeah, you could say that. I've never met them, but okay. It's not like they need proof or anything. What's that? It'll still please her. You know. It's room 19 at the end of the corridor. Thank you. For such a side character, that character actually has a pretty decent uh, accent, and it's not like ridiculous like everyone else's. Nineteen. Mm-hmm. Under the hall on the right. Orchids? Uh-huh. You don't really even need to remember that it's 19, you just remember it's at the end of the hall, which you just passed. Well, I want to see if it's important. Nope, can't go that way. Or I can. Who are you? Anyone important? Nope. Analyzing my surroundings. I'm a wanted woman, remember that. You go over there, the guy kicks chairs over there. Oh, you found me! <laughs> now I gotta go hide again. <laughs> kicks a chair on his way out. And you pass it again. Did I? The organic killer is in me. You're gonna need to remember this scene. Oh god. You're gonna need to remember one very key detail. Hello, Mrs. Shepard. Is, is she a big bad wolf? Pills already? Yep. No, Mrs. Shepard, I They're never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. In the other hospital they were always on time. But here... Pills? Here? <laughs> My name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I'd like to ask you some questions about your son. I don't like this hospital. The food isn't very good, you know. Try to remember, Mrs. Shepard. John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. What was the name of the foster family? I asked them for a television, you know. <laughs> the scene is infuriating. They said I didn't have enough money. It's a pity. I'm fond of television. Yeah, ask her about the new infamous game. Mrs. Shepard, John's twin brother. What was his name? What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. I'm wondering if that's it. She's seen him. Do you remember John? My Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. You had a son named John, and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. Grabbing pills. I think your son is in trouble, Mrs. Shepard. He's done some terrible things. I need to find him. Do you understand? Terrible things you're telling me. He never came to see me, can you believe it? In ten years, never. No one forgets their mother, do they? I know what happened at Carnaby Square. Do you remember? Carnaby Square. I think I used to live there a long time ago. We didn't have much Okay, I just want to point out that the, the, the power outlets all look like smiley faces. Very little. Mm -hmm. Or are they smiley faces? I don't I don't know. Mrs. Shepard, your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. Are you a new nurse? Where are my pills? This is infuriating. Mm -hmm. There's something on the table there you can look at. No, there isn't. I just lean on it. Oh, okay. There's something I can look at. 
origami. This is like when we tried to do origami in the beginning of the game only. Well, no, that's pretty much it. <laughs> this is gonna be ridiculous. Did she just shake it? I don't know. She also wasn't looking at the page origami, that was about the swans. But that's not my favorite one. The mom is the origami killer. She beat up Nam and Jaden. It's the dog. You have to look at the dog. You have to make the dog. If not, there's a bunch of origami on the table there we can probably look at and figure out which one it is, but I'm pretty sure it's the dog. Fuck. I like how she just unfolds the paper. Like I said, a lot of the failing things make no sense. Mother! How did you do that? I don't, why are you... I don't know why Madison. she understands it. It should just let you leave off where, you're, where you were. But I guess that's your penalty. to do these little dogs too. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. Max, Max, Max. All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. But he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it? seems to be working. She's remembering stuff. We gotta find something else to show her. Get up and look for things to find, uh, to, to show her. Alright, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. It'd take days, if not longer, to find the name of the family that adopted her son. Sean Mars would be dead by then. Did you make these origami figures? My little paper animals. They played with them for hours. I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Yes, your boys, Mrs. Shepard. John and... What was your other son's name again? My other son? I only had one son. My little Johnny. This is one of the few times that you want to punch an old woman. Because she just keeps dodging it for no good reason. Killer's mother. Must be some way to get her to remember. You don't seem to get many flowers, Mrs. Shepard. No, but I love them. My son knows that I love flowers. I know he'll bring me some. She closed the drawer. <laughs> Leaves the room. John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. Their father never looked after them. Always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. Put the picture of uh, Dante and his brother Virgil back away. That was a Devil May Cry reference. That was not a I know. hint. I know who they are. Oh yeah, that's right, my love just Capcom. Yes. I was gonna say, how do you know Virgil? Did you like showers, Miss <laughs> Miss Shepherd? <laughs> Did your son like the shower? He became a commander in the United States Alliance military force, people. I hear he's a Spectre now. Did you say Spectre? No, Inspector. He's Inspector Gadget. Leave the room. And get the orchids. She looked mortified when she left the room there. I would be too. And now she's looking at the camera where she was. Grab the uh, orchids. What? <laughs> 
Does Mrs. Shepard ever talk about her past? It's not all very clear to her now. Sometimes she'll remember the oddest things, though. I suppose if she sees something that reminds her of her past. Did she ever mention her sons? Sons? Well, she often mentions John. I, I think he drowned. Does she ever talk about her other son? I didn't know she had another one. She's a never picture in her drawer. Why would she have seen Did the picture? Did she get any visitors? I'm sure she's a nurse. She's been here for ten years and you're the first. Nurses see pictures? Sometimes, if you show her things, it seems to trigger a memory from her past. You might get it to remember. Thanks for the advice. I'll go get the orchids and bring them back. I do like how the characters look at them, like, as to sort of give you a hint. It, this nurse has literally been just looking at the doors and making yep, notes. that's the door sign. <laughs> She's been sent there by Ethan to uh, examine the doors and just take notes. What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand? The foster family, Mrs. Shepard. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. His name, Mrs. Shepard. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how well, This is really I sad on me. I'm really mad with I him. know, I always get very mad. His name. And I know who it is, and it always still makes me mad. Come closer. Really, they're not gonna tell you. No, I told you it was a big old tease. <sighs> well, she seems horrified. Mm hmm. But I can't tell if it's a good way or a bad way. Mm hmm. It's a road called Rainbow Road. It's a road we're all gonna go. We'll go. <laughs> it's close enough. It says Rainbow Lane. Yeah, it's close enough. I like how he's holding his hip as if, you know, because I'm assuming he hurt himself pretty bad when he fell. Yeah. This is the slowest Ethan's gone so far. He's picking up a little speed, he's gaining some momentum. Come on, Ethan. Come on, Shelby. Why did he <laughs> just. Well, he's probably going to visit the mom next. Mm. What is this? This room is really white. This is the room that uh, Wesker fought uh, Alice in. You should have brought more. The last trial. The last question. Are you prepared to give your life to save your sons? There is a deadly poison in this file. It will kill you in exactly 60 minutes. If you drink it, you will get the last letters of the address. You will have enough time to save your son and say goodbye to him, but then you will die. You can drink the file or decide to leave. The choice is yours. Well, we've done everything else so far, except that kill that guy.
Well, we've effectively killed ourselves. Are we really timed for 60 minutes? Not like in real, like IRL minutes. So more like Dragon Ball Z minutes? Because I was saying, really, the game now has 60 minutes left? Well, in the reality of the game, yeah, there's only an hour left. But it looks like we don't have enough to finish the, uh, thing. I did what I had to, Sean. Your dad's coming to save you. You should be able to piece it together. Especially if you've played it. Which I have. I'm sure it's not that tough to... No, because they give you a really good hint. Yeah, we're pretty much in the end game right now. I know we're I'm out, out of time. They have fucking shitty letters with this fucking fucking address. Come on, there's gotta be a way to do this. Oh, that is my favorite. The internet. All right, here we go. Let's look at the things we have available and try and figure it out. Letters. God, they're scattered all over the city. I don't have time to check them all. If you didn't collect all the hints, this is your one hint. I don't know if you heard that, but it sounds like there is a, um, a horn. No, I don't need to hear that again. You can just, uh, I'll play it again. Horn, that could mean a boat, it could mean a truck, uh, a bay, a dock, mm -hmm. a road. So, it could be 852 Theodore Roosevelt Park, spelt with a C and OK, uh, 852 Theodore Roosevelt Road, or... It could be 852 Theodore Roosevelt Lane. I'm gonna go with Park. Nope, this no. one is near the water. It was a ship I one. I think the park. Oh, okay. I was looking at it wrong. Yeah, the one near the road. All right, turn the car on. Or go. Yeah, that was a pretty obvious hint. <laughs> if you were playing, you would have went to the park. I thought the park was the one next to the water, though. 